Okay, what we've done here is we've spread our chicken compost all on top of this here, our chicken manure, after it's been composted. And we're, we're digging it in, we're taking our shovel, digging down about 12 inches and turning it over. That's this is going to be our new carrot bed. We're going to be planting carrots tomorrow. Trying to get it ready. Okay, we've got our carrot bed here prepared. Got the dirt all loosened up in it. We're going to be planting our carrot seeds here. And today we're using, we use Danvers carrots here. We found out that we get a really good success rate from them. We didn't get any carrot seeds this year so we end up having to buy our carrot seeds which we're okay with that we're gonna be sprinkling them out now I don't I'm the kind of person I broadcast mine and then I thin them out for eating carrots when they're really really small I don't take the time to put them in small rows today on the almanac is a day for planting root crops we got rain moving in here probably in the next hour or so so we want to try to get these in the ground this morning and get them covered up Okay, this bed is four foot wide and 16 feet long, which will give us probably, I don't know, we usually get about 25 jars of carrots out of it to put up in the cellar, pint jars. Um, I know you're probably wondering, I always tell you I save my seed. Well, carrots is a two year process in saving seed. And this year we didn't get to save any because we used up all the carrots that we had. So we went ahead and bought some. And that's something you might want to take into consideration as carrots is a two year process on saving seed. And I'm not opposed to buying carrot seeds because right now they are still, you know, they're still mostly an heirloom crop. So one of the processes that I've learned, I've got my ground prepared. It's really, really soft and mellow. Dug down about 12 to 14 inches deep. Amended real well with some good compost. The seeds, we just sprinkle them on top of the ground. We broadcast them because we just don't believe you can have too many carrots. As you thin them out, you can eat them in your salads and stuff. What I do is take a garden rake. I've learned I have real good success with this. And I just take that garden rake and I just kind of tamp it back and forth like this because carrots don't need to be very deep covered in the ground. I just take the points and stick it down and kind of move it back and forth like this. Then when I get to that point, I'll just lightly drag it back across it. And that usually will give me what I need you don't want to let it dig in too deep, maybe a quarter of an inch. We've got to get a light watering on the bed here so we've got moisture for these seeds. The key thing with a carrot seed is you don't want it to ever dry out because it's such a small seed and it's so close to the surface. If, it, if the surface is wet and then it dries out, it won't come up. There's lots of little secrets about carrot seeds. Y'all probably notice these tender greens in the background here flowering. Those are some that are left coming up along the edges. We also leave them for seeds. Main thing you want to make sure of with a carrot is that the ground does not get packed. So that little seed will not push through. Now that we have this kind of watered in, we have these big pieces of cardboard. This is a secret that we've learned with carrots. We got this from a neighbor who was putting flooring down in his house. We take this and we lay it over the carrots so that the sunshine when it comes out don't dry the surface of the ground out that stays. So. Okay, we've got our cardboard laid down here. We've learned that as long as you keep something over the carrot seeds where, some, where the 
top surface doesn't dry out and it stays dark in about six days we'll look underneath this and, we'll, and usually the carrots are beginning to sprout and once they start sprouting we can take this cardboard up because they're usually okay after that as long as we're not going to get a flooding down rain or something we'll take something and we lay on top of it just to keep the wind from blowing them off